A human being is extraordinary, a perfect machine that can achieve it all. But a South African, now we are exceptional. We have broken boundaries. We have fought for freedom. Just like you, Prof Med is proudly South African and stands behind each professional striving to make a difference. We're at the Wanderers in Johannesburg on this chilly, misty winter's morning, but with a story that is sure to warm your heart. Luzan Kutsia is a record-breaking Paralympian backed by ProfMed, and her story is an inspiration to us all. We're gonna go catch up with her since the last episode of Mind and Field while she prepares for the Paralympics. Let's go find her. Luzan, Klaus, Paralympians, back from Paris here in Joburg. This is epic. I'm so excited to meet you. I love it. I'm so excited to meet you too. How was it? How was wow, it? Wow, how amazing. I'm, I'm, thank you for my story. It was really so cool. Um, I, I feel like I'm a little starstruck meeting you. Uh, no, man. I, I should be the one saying that. <laughs> Tell me, let's sit down. I want to chat. So before we get into Paris, um, for the viewers that maybe didn't watch the last episode that we had with you and Prof Med, uh, can you give us a little bit of your background, maybe a bit of your story? Yeah, so my name is Luzon Kutsia. I'm an athlete um, and I've had the privilege of going to two Paralympic Games, the 2016 Rio Paralympics and then the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. And I competed at the Tokyo Paralympics. I competed in the marathon and the 1,500 meters. Um, yeah, and we were really blessed with amazing results. We got a bronze medal and a world record in the marathon and an African record and a silver medal in the 1,500 meters. And yeah, my, my athletic journey has really just taken off since, since then and we've done lots of cool things. You are a Paralympian and you, you're so modest. It's, it's insane. I'm sitting next to a Paralympian. <laughs> this is incredible. So who's next to you? This is my, my guide for the road running, part of my career, Klaus Kempen, and I'm sure he would love to say something about himself. He enjoys talking. I'm a guide for, for Luzon, but first of all, I think we are friends. It's, it's been a nine year journey now for us. Started very informal, um, and at this stage, I always, and I not joke, but I say it, it took a blind lady to show me the world, um, because she, she takes me um, and to see places, to do things like this. Um, so, so it's amazing. So thank you, Luzon. Yeah, no, Paris was really amazing. It was, for me as an athlete, I learned a lot from the world championships that just took place in Paris. I just realized the value of, of many things, of family, of friends, of support, of having a, a solid team behind you. Um, and, and with that, I fully and confidently include ProfMed because I went into the race with an injury um, three weeks before we flew, I tore the, my ATFL ligament in my right ankle and it's literally thanks to having a support system and a, and a wonderful medical aid that I managed to, you know, get to the root of the problem. We managed to treat it. When we went across, um, we had, I had wonderful medical staff and physios looking after me um, and I was just blessed with, with a great race and, a, and an opportunity to race in Paris because a week before our race we weren't even sure that we were actually going to run. The pressure of that is immense, right? The pressure of, of having an injury and the uncertainty was, was great but I think it's important to, to always you know, leave those things behind you when you get into the, into the call room and, and when you go from the call room onto the track because ultimately game day is game day. Game There's day no is game day. Other way. Um, <laughs> tell me the, the feeling of bringing home medals, not just for your team behind you, but also for South Africa. What does that feel like? Oh, it's an indescribable feeling, Brent. I think, um, especially this medal was quite special because it was the first medal for the team, so that was really amazing. Um, but it's a, it's a privilege and, and it's, it's an honour to be able to do that for your country and to go out there and be on sort of the front line for your country and the love you get afterwards is really amazing. South Africa, I feel it, I hear it, guys we see you and we, we really appreciate and love all of you. Oh, so incredible. Congrats, South Africa. Any other key sort of sporting moments? I know you've been to South Korea since the last episode. We had the privilege of traveling to South Korea for um, the IPC Athletes Forum. So we are very focused on Paris 2024. 
Um, and this race that we just had, would, I would say, was the main, the main pre-race for, for that. And, uh, and anything on the personal front? Apparently there was a diploma somewhere <laughs> in between there. In between the races, you're also studying. I, yeah, I studied last year. Um, I did my postgraduate diploma in business admin because I want to start my, with my MBA. Um, yeah, so that's, I, I, I had the, the, the honor of graduating this year. It was really amazing. It was the day before my birthday, so that was a great gift. I, I, I feel like you're unstoppable. It's, a, it's <laughs> a, such an inspiration to sit next to you. Um, I know you're hiding your hands, but apparently there's a little engagement ring over there as well. So that's something great on the personal front. It's, whole, it's not me. It's not you. It's not, <laughs> definitely not class. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got engaged last year, September. So it's almost wedding time and the wedding is this year October, so the pressure's on. I've never talked so much about weddings before. I don't even think I've been involved with my own wedding like this. <laughs> but I love it. For now, the plan is to do three more races this year, mainly focused on the road and, and longer distances because we're going back into a base training block and then um, sort of taper and, and pick up and peak at the Paralympic Games next year, which we're very excited for. South Africa is going to be watching. We're going to be backing you and all the other incredible athletes that are going over to Paris 2024. I have to ask you the biggest favour. Biggest okay. favour. Uh, a bucket list thing for me has always been to run with someone as inspiring as you. Mm -hmm. uh, you are a Paralympian. I would be absolutely honored. Uh, we can't go far though, <laughs> but I would, I would love to, to have a bit of a track with you. Cool, uh, so should we do this? Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. That was absolutely epic. I just ran with a Paralympian. Paris 2024 is coming up. We need to support our South African athletes. I'm out of breath. That was epic. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.